Hey everyone, I'm Luke from Weld Pro, and today I'm coming back for part two of the series on the Cut 60 HSV. Today, we're going to set this machine up and get it completely ready to cut. The first thing we're going to do to get started is to hook up the ground clamp. We do this by taking the dense connector, inserting it into the lug on the front of the plasma cutter, and rotating about 90 degrees clockwise. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and connect our plasma torch to the front of the machine using these three connections. The first thing we're going to hook up is this brass connector onto the threaded screw on the front of the machine. This provides the welding current as well as the air supply to the torch. Next, you'll see a red wire with a little Stacon connector on the end. Also, on the front of the machine, you're going to see a little black plastic cap. Go ahead and unscrew that and take it off. Under that plastic cap, you're going to notice a threaded stud. Go ahead and insert that Stacon connector over the stud and reinstall the black plastic cap. The last step to get this torch fully connected is to hook up this two pin anthenol connector to the front of the machine. You do this by inserting the connector and tightening the metal ring clockwise. That connector we just hooked up is the trigger switch connector and that sends a signal to the machine letting it know that you've squeezed the trigger and that you're ready to cut. The last step we need to do before we can start cutting is to hook up our airline. Sometimes you may want to disconnect your airline, so installing a male quick connect fitting on the back of your machine can be useful. We'll do this using some Teflon tape. Tighten this down using a wrench, but don't over tighten it. Now I'll install the other end of the coupler so the air is ready to flow into the machine. Go ahead and turn your air compressor on. Let's get air pressure to the plasma cutter. One thing to note is that the output pressure on your air compressor should always be lower than 90 PSI. Now that our airline is connected, all of our components are hooked up to the machine and our pressure is set correctly, we're ready to get started cutting. So stay tuned for part three, where we show you how to successfully make cuts on various types of materials. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. As always, we love hearing from you guys. We're always putting out new and creative content to help you better understand welding in general, as well as our welding equipment. Thanks again for tuning in. And from all of us here at WeldPro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new Cut 60. Yeah.